Hey everybody, it's Zangano once again, and we're going to do another game just because I'm in a good mood and the other game was kind of short, so two games in one day. Let's do it. Starting up here, we've got the awesome Warcraft 3 hero Korean Moon as the Red Zerg. A beast in his own right, but I have not seen him playing StarCraft 2 yet. I am very much out of the loop in Korea. So this is from MLG Columbus, obviously, and I'm really excited to see how Moon does in StarCraft 2. Down here, we've got the beast OGSMC, the Korean player as well. Protoss player used to be a you know, used to be a Brood War player. So we're probably going to see some cool, high-powered, high APM, awesome action going on Korean style. As you can see, still fairly standard. We got a ah, oh, god damn it, sorry. And so we got a overpool going for. Moon, which is fairly standard, although there's a little bit of debate over Overlord timing, which is better, which is worse. So some people do 9, some people do 11. It's uh, neither here nor there. And we got MC coming to take a look. He's moving his little probe around. Uh, now this is going to put Moon a little bit on edge because now he's got a probe to deny an expansion if he wanted to make one, or harass his workers to pull them off the mineral line, but also means he does have to go pool first essentially and he's doing the gas pool he's doing a little bit of a different order so he's not gonna have quite enough gas when the spawning pool finishes to get speed right away but it'll be close enough uh, other than that he'll have to look out for pylons for a cannon rush and what are we seeing down for MC MC is starting with a forge first as you can see it looks like he's walling off his natural expansion which is actually a reg uh, regular thing seen in ZVP. Uh, the Protoss will wall off his natural with cannons and buildings and go with an air army usually and you should probably see an expansion going down any second now. Uh, either way, let's see what Moon's plan is. Now that the spawning pool is up, we have the Queen in production. We have uh, sorry, four Zerglings in production. Probably a sixth uh, another pair coming out, but you never know, Moon could be one tricksy, tricksy person. And as you can see, because of the Zerg um, macro moving it forward a little bit, and as the game goes on, if MC doesn't get some good harassment in, he's going to just get further and further ahead, as the Zerg typically do. So we got a natural expansion here uh, taken for MC, which faster than Moon, which puts the Zerg in a hard situation. The Zerg usually wants to be equal or greater expansions than its opponent. Usually greater. And uh, Gateway going down in the first cannon, trying to wall this off. And then he will go directly to Starport Tech. Um, Moon did manage to get his expansion started, but it's a little bit behind MC, though not as big a deal for Zerg, just because Zerg can make drones faster than Protoss can make probes. We do have speed being researched, uh, but what are we going to see here? He's going to see that the cannons are up. Uh, just one cannon is enough to stop any amount of Zerglings without much walls. As you can see, uh, we got a transfer here going for MC's probes, but Moon is obviously seeing that the natural is complete for MC, so we got Zerglings in production, or in, a Roach Warren also being built for the Korean Zerg here. And as I should, we should be seeing, got a second gas going down for MC, but I don't see a Stargate yet. He should be getting his Stargate relatively soon. Uh, he's building another cannon on the wall just to uh, fully wall that off to prevent any run bys from the Zerglings. You never know. Moon uh, is a Warcraft 3 player, he probably has awesome micro. Uh, and for Moon here, he's going to go for a more aggressive build. He's staying on the one base and making roaches. I assume this is because he wants to make sure that he can uh, get a timing window, maybe, before the first Void Ray comes out, where he can get some damage done by making a lot of roaches. And also, because MC saw a natural expansion. He's not expecting an attack, so this actually could be very effective, a very interesting feint. And as you can see, Moon already inching ahead as his moves keep getting bigger. So let's um, let's take a look at supply here. As you can see, MC actually has more uh, workers than 
than Moon does, which is not surprising because he's on two bases, but though Protoss don't usually end up in that situation. As you, but you can see here, the army supply for Moon is much greater. So this is all essentially going to come down to whether or not Moon can break this. If Moon can break this, he'll win the game. If not, he'll lose. Let's see what happens. So he is focusing down the pylon, and there is no other pylon, which means the second it goes down, there goes the cannon, and all he has left is a sentry. Oh, no, never mind. Another pylon has been completed, and the void ray is out. So now Moon is in a tough situation. He has to get through this wall before anything bad happens, and unfortunately, it looks like MC is handling it as well as he can, but he is in the base now, but the Void Ray is fully charged, so it's going to do a ton of damage. He does not have a ton of units to get himself behind. Another Void Ray is in production, another cannon's in production, ten Zerglings coming out for Moon, but again, the Void Ray is just going to slowly but surely eat through these units, and how much damage he does is highly dependent. He's moving in, he's getting some probe kills, but as you can see here, he has 18 drones to 31 probes, so he has to do a ton of damage with very few units in order to be successful. But obviously, that does not look very good for Moon right now. Moon, looking like his aggression got the better of him, he probably is uh, not happy right now. I would not be surprised to see a GG any moment. Or, oh, never mind, he's expanding, which is um, a bit too late now to uh, get caught up. So, uh, Moon obviously knows he's in a rough spot. He is trying to get back into the macro game after trying to do a massive aggressive uh, short win. He's building an Evo chamber because he knows that the air units are coming, so he's going to have to see a. Uh, he's going to have to get some spore crawlers. Also, he has to race as fast as possible to get the creep to his natural. But of course, the void rays are already here doing massive damage to the hatchery. He's going to have to cancel it. And now Moon has two queens off of creep, which means that the Void Rays can just dance around them and probably go right towards the base. But no, he's, they're fully charged. Now there's a third Void Ray. These queens are going to go down. There is very little chance that Moon could actually win this right now. I uh, don't know what he's doing with his units. His uh, Zerglings are... Uh, uh, he only has, he has 18 Zerglings right there. And then Moon GG's obviously got way too far behind, did not handle the air attack correctly, probably should have responded in a different way than he did to this forge fast expand, probably by taking a quick third and uh, working off of three bases instead of just going for a big all-in push, which of course is a bit of a gamble and didn't turn out for him in the long run. So yeah, GG, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.